Okay, so um, I got this question on uh, a video a while back, um, a while back, like a couple days ago. <laughs> it's been a long couple days. You guys have been blowing me up on TikTok, and it's been amazing. Um, but the question was regarding the Clip Studio Paint 3D models. So, um, and it was how to find the camera angles on that. So I'm going to show you guys really quick how to find and manipulate some of the camera angles on that. This is not going to be a full 3D model tutorial. There's a lot of those that are really good online. If you have specific questions, let me know and I can make smaller videos because I don't want to do like hour long tutorials on stuff. I like, I like finding small videos that address specific needs and I like making those as well. So that's what I'm going to do here with this one um, is just kind of show you how to move the camera angles along and maybe show you some of the perspective stuff in there. <clears throat> okay, so first. 3D models in Clip Studio, a lot of people have trouble finding them in general. If you look over here on the right side, um, where my mouse is, you can move this this will usually be collapsed, I think, on a lot of a lot of your programs. If I click these double arrows over, then it's going to pull over this 3D model program and it's going to show you all the 3D model stuff. Alternatively, you can go up to the top here, you know, top top sort of left side on the with the window option is that. I pull that file down and I go all the way down here to material. Then I go into the material file and for this particular one, I'm going to look for a body pose. You can do this with, um, they have all sorts of stuff, buildings, trees, cars. It's just loaded with stuff that people have made. So we're going to go to the uh, 3D models and we're going to look at the poses. All right, so let's close this one. You can see an example of all the stuff you can download here. But let's go to the poses here, if we can find them. All right, here's our standard pose. Um, you can get poses that are already pre-made as well. And this, you can download them. Uh, I strongly encourage you to go look into that stuff because like I said, their shop has been really creative and uh, they have a lot of stuff. So anyways, uh, we're going to just download a, a regular pose into our file here and we're going to mess around with the cameras because that's what the question was. All your camera settings are going to be up top. You see all these blue icons here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So our first one is just going to be, uh, these first three actually on the left side here are going to be simple camera movements. This one's going to allow you to rotate. These won't move the figure, these will just move your camera. So important to kind of know that these do different things as the box ones. So this one is just me dragging around on the canvas with my Wacom pen and it's going to move the camera around. Second one is going to be more of a front and back. It still does move perspective. Um, if you notice the lines are changing depending on where I'm moving it around. I believe because the camera is technically still staying in the middle or your viewpoint is still staying in the middle. So this is a really good way to do like a street pose. Like I could line up several different figures in this pose and as if I was looking down from a, uh, from a building, right? So if I want to make a city scene like this, I'm simply just moving the people around and I can use these grid lines as well to kind of map out curves and shit like that. All right, let's get these guys out of here. It's too many. We'll go back to him and our third camera here is going to be a simple zoom in, zoom out, right? So that's all that's going to do. Now the ones on the right side that look like the boxes, these are going to move the character. These are not going to move your camera. These are going to move your character around that grid and that space, right? So like I said, if I had, if I had the multiple characters in here and I wanted to move them around each other, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to keep the camera in position and I'm just going to move the characters around, right? So let's say I want him a little bit closer or a little bit different perspective than this guy. <laughs> now he's just a wee little man. But he's in perspective now, right? Like he's still the same size, but he's just in a different perspective. So it's almost like they're on an elevator or an escalator, right? And now I can turn him. So let's clear him out. Go back to our one character so it's not too confusing for you guys. 
so we looked at this one now let's look at this one this one also moves the character angles like i said it's not moving the camera it's just going to move the character around right next to it this box it's going to move your character in sort of a circular point with the fulcrum the middle point kind of in the middle here so it's going to kind of move it in a circle around that um you also have sort of a side to side spinning thing here <laughs> so I'm so technical side to side spinny thing but you can see this one's gonna get go in circles so you can move around the pose the whole character posing as well as the one uh, on the far right here this far right box now that one's just gonna move you around that space but it's going to keep your character locked into that pose at least and it's going to keep your camera locked in that pose so those will help move your character around. play with those I know my technical terms are so amazing uh, that you probably would not want any other tutorial on the internet, but there are some better ones out there as well That'll show you how to kind of move your character in a position move the limbs. You can kind of mess with all these things On here as well. Like I said, we won't get to we won't really get into that right now because we'll just focus on the cameras so Another way to do this and mess with this stuff beyond just having these at the top here is we go over here to the left side the left side has a tool property on the 3D models. It's got everything from lighting position. You can see the light source here. We're just moving it around on this little ball here and it's gonna change the light source. We can do that. We can mess with the body shapes, right? We can give them the, the COVID-15, quarantine 15 here. And then we can go to the poses of the hands even. So we can do a lot of different things. All right, see so now we just change the hands on here. So in regards to cameras, what can we do over here? If we go up to the top of this, right here, this angle area, this is going to be where we have presets for our camera views as well. So this can be incredibly useful by just clicking these. <laughs> He's such a picture of a of elegance right so now we can just kind of move them around we can move the camera closer um, <laughs> it's meatloaf we'll call him meatloaf I'm getting a fight club vibe here um, we can mess with our perspective right so let's kind of zoom him out a little bit so we can have a little bit more room to see we'll grab this third one here and we'll kind of pull it I'm pulling it up towards the top so it's moving out, right? Now I'm moving in on our canvas a little bit just so we can zoom on in. But if we mess with perspective, this can be a really cool way to uh, challenge your poses um, and mess with those. We can roll the camera a little bit. <laughs> um, and also there is a, I think it's down here further there's a manga perspective option, which makes it a little bit more extreme even. I don't know why it's all the way down here. Maybe it just focuses on the hand. No, it's moving the rest of the body. So anyways, there's that manga perspective and that's just gonna push, I'm over here on the left side if you can't see my mouse also, um, but that's just going to push the perspective a little bit more, right? <laughs> So now if we want them floating in space, right, above the earth, just elegantly and gracefully and beautifully, uh, that's what we have here. So try those things out, mess around, have fun with these. These are really cool models. Um, I hope that answered your question that you asked on YouTube. Uh, anybody else who's got the questions like that, those are the ways to mess with your cameras. If there's other ways, uh, by all means, uh, try to find them. But these are the ones that I mess with. And like I said, if you guys got other questions on it, just let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Um, kind of loaded up with a lot of stuff right now, but I'm trying to get through all the things. I think I got a video for hands, and uh, people will still want to know how to color in Clip Studio Paint. I have a couple videos on those, but I think they were a little bit confusing to some people. So I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, kind of uh, trim that down. But I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. We'll look at our beautiful boy <laughs> floating through space here. As I send you guys off, everybody have a great day. Have a good night. Uh, go love somebody. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.
Night-night, everybody.